In this video, we are going to talk about what cyber warfare is and how it affects our everyday lives. We will discuss the different types of attacks that happen online and the dangers that come with them. We will also explain how to protect yourself from these attacks and keep your information safe. Let's start. What is cyber warfare? Cyber warfare is usually defined as a cyber attack or series of attacks that target a country. It has the potential to wreak havoc on government and civilian infrastructure and disrupt critical systems, resulting in damage to the state and even loss of life. There is, however, a debate among cybersecurity experts as to what kind of activity constitutes cyber warfare. The U.S. Department of Defense DoD, recognizes the threat to national security posed by the malicious use of the Internet but doesn't provide a clearer definition of cyber warfare. Some consider cyber warfare to be a cyber attack that can result in death. Cyber warfare typically involves a nation-state perpetrating cyber attacks on another, but in some cases, the attacks are carried out by terrorist organizations or non-state actors seeking to further the goal of a hostile nation. There are several examples of alleged cyber warfare in recent history, but there is no universal, formal, definition for how a cyber attack may constitute an act of war. 7 Types of Cyber Warfare Attacks Here are some of the main types of cyber warfare attacks. Espionage Refers to monitoring other countries to steal secrets. In cyber warfare, this can involve using botnets or spear phishing attacks to compromise sensitive computer systems before exfiltrating sensitive information. Sabotage Government organizations must determine sensitive information and the risks if it is compromised. Hostile governments or terrorists may steal information, destroy it, or leverage insider threats such as dissatisfied or careless employees, or government employees with affiliation to the attacking country. Denial of service, DOS, attacks. DOS attacks prevent legitimate users from accessing a website by flooding it with fake requests and forcing the website to handle these requests. This type of attack can be used to disrupt critical operations and systems and block access to sensitive websites by civilians, military and security personnel, or research bodies. Electrical Power Grid Attacking the power grid allows attackers to disable critical systems, disrupt infrastructure, and potentially result in bodily harm. Attacks on the power grid can also disrupt communications and render services such as text messages and communications unusable. Propaganda attacks. Attempts to control the minds and thoughts of people living in or fighting for a target country. Propaganda can be used to expose embarrassing truths, spread lies to make people lose trust in their country, or side with their enemies. Economic disruption. Most modern economic systems operate using computers. Attackers can target computer networks of economic establishments such as stock markets, payment systems, and banks to steal money or block people from accessing the funds they need. Surprise attacks. These are the cyber equivalent of attacks like Pearl Harbor and 9-11. The point is to carry out a massive attack that the enemy isn't expecting, enabling the attacker to weaken their defenses. This can be done to prepare the ground for a physical attack in the context of hybrid warfare. Examples of Cyber Warfare Operations Here are several well-publicized examples of cyber warfare in recent times. Stuxnet Virus Stuxnet was a worm that attacked the Iranian nuclear program. It is among the most sophisticated cyber attacks in history. The malware spread via infected universal serial bus devices and targeted data acquisition and supervisory control systems. According to most reports, the attack seriously damaged Iran's ability to manufacture nuclear weapons. Sony Pictures Hack An attack on Sony Pictures followed the release of the film The Interview, which presented a negative portrayal of Kim Jong-un. The attack is attributed to North Korean government hackers. The FBI found similarities to previous malware attacks by North Koreans, including code, encryption algorithms, and data deletion mechanisms. Bronze Soldier in 2007, Estonia relocated a statue associated with the Soviet Union, the Bronze Soldier, from the center of its capital Tallinn to a military cemetery near the city. Estonia suffered a number of significant cyber attacks in the following months. Estonian government websites, media outlets, and banks were overloaded with traffic in massive denial-of-service, DOS, attacks and consequently were taken offline. 
Fancy Bear CrowdStrike claims that the Russian-organized cybercrime group Fancy Bear targeted Ukrainian rocket forces and artillery between 2014 and 2016. The malware was spread via an infected Android application used by the D-30 Howitzer Artillery Unit to manage targeting data. Ukrainian officers made wide use of the app, which contained the ex-agent spyware. This is considered to be a highly successful attack, resulting in the destruction of over 80% of Ukraine's D-30 howitzers. Enemies of Qatar Elliot Broidy, an American Republican fundraiser, sued the government of Qatar in 2018, accusing it of stealing and leaking his emails in an attempt to discredit him. The Qataris allegedly saw him as an obstacle to improving their standing in Washington. According to the lawsuit, the brother of the Qatari emir was alleged to have orchestrated a cyber warfare campaign, along with others in Qatari leadership. 1,200 people were targeted by the same attackers, with many of these being known enemies of Qatar, including senior officials from Egypt, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and Bahrain. How to Combat Cyber Warfare The legal status of this new field is still unclear as there is no international law governing the use of cyber weapons. However, this does not mean that cyber warfare is not addressed by the law. The Cooperative Cyber Defense Center of Excellence CCD -COE, has published the Talon Manual, a textbook that addresses rare but serious cyber threats. This manual explains when cyber attacks violate international law and how countries may respond to such violations. Conducting Risk Assessments with Cyber War Games the best way to assess a nation's readiness for cyber warfare is to conduct a real-life exercise or simulation, also known as a cyber war game. A war game can test how governments and private organizations respond to a cyber warfare scenario, expose gaps in defenses, and improve cooperation between entities. Most importantly, a war game can help defenders learn how to act quickly to protect critical infrastructure and save lives. Cyber war games can help cities, states, or countries improve readiness for cyber warfare by testing different situations, such as detecting attacks in early stages or mitigating risks after critical infrastructure has already been compromised. Testing unusual scenarios, attacks are never conducted by the book. By establishing a red team that acts as the attackers and tries to find creative ways to breach a target system, the defenders can learn how to mitigate real threats. Division of Labor and Cooperation Mechanisms, Cyber Warfare requires many individuals from different organizations and government units to collaborate. A cyber war game can bring together those people who may not know each other and help them decide how to work together in the event of a crisis. Improving policies, governments may establish cyber warfare policies but need to test them and practice. A cyber war game can test the effectiveness of policies and provide an opportunity for improving them. Cyber warfare is a new battlefront that will shake the world in future. It's essential to understand how it works and what can be done to stay safe. As for now, there are new laws in place that can help protect you from any cyber attacks or data breaches. Make sure you are keeping these contracts updated if you do business online. I hope you guys surely like and enjoy our video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.